Okay. Atheism. A lack of belief in God or gods. That's it. But let's do this. <sighs> My name is E. Billy. I have debated the likes of Shock of God and Nephilim Free. Both have been unable to counter any of my exams, but, you know, honestly, that's not much bragging, that's just telling the truth. I believe that you'll have a much better chance. At least you're rational. But you state that atheists have as many different ideas of how the universe began as days of the week. And you know what? You might be right. Because we don't know. I know, we use that keyword, don't know. We do know what didn't happen. We know that the God of the Bible didn't create the Earth 6,000 years ago. So, yeah. And there might be a God out there, but the odds are that there probably isn't, and if there is, he probably doesn't care. So, you want to go pot shut? You know, you want to go shooting in the woods for, for the stray um, God duck? Go ahead, but I ain't wasting my time. Honestly, we'll know in 2013 how the universe came into existence. We have probes up there, so ask again um, July 2013. We'll give you a positive answer, because there'll be one. But just because we don't know an answer doesn't mean we won't hunt for it. And any answer out there is just a subject to be destroyed as any other. Unlike the Bible, we're willing to say we're wrong. And if you really want to go to atheism is a belief, say it's rational people have a belief in things that are logical and rational. Because we do. We like things that actually exist inside our universe. You know, we like A plus B equals C. One plus one equals two. We don't like having to pray to God to make sure our math's right. So, yeah, e Billy 89 peace, and remember, silly theist. Logic is for those that are truthful.